Everything about this research project has been exciting to me, from working with the animals and training them at our research facility in Fort St. John, to watching the calves come about and grow, to building relationships with each of the animals that we work with so that they can allow us to maintain our close proximity for foraging studies. It's also exciting when you see wild animals out on the landscape in their natural habitats and see them interact with you and with your animals. And it's also fun to be out there with the crew sampling veg and learning about the habitat from another perspective. And then when you've got the animals in those habitats to be able to combine what's on the ground with what the animals are doing. So it gives us a really unique perspective on what these animals can do. And sometimes even in the summer you have snow to deal with and sometimes you've got animals that are eating pretty quickly and moving around pretty fast. But all in all, they are very highly trained professionals who know how to load into their trailer. And they've provided us with these great insights that I'm about to share with you in the following videos. Working on this project was a once in a lifetime experience. Being able to take caribou out onto the landscape and see what they do in these different plant communities provided us incredible insight. It's been quite a ride and I'm very much looking forward to the next step which will be finishing data analysis once we get all of our diet quality samples returned from the lab. I can't thank my collaborators enough this project would have been impossible without all of them and without our research crew, and it definitely helped greatly by the support from WCS Canada and the W. Garfield Weston Foundation. Thank you so much, and I look forward to disseminating our results.